security sources say the threat did not relate to the Olympics, now just days away. But they say there was a real and clear danger. One of the arrested men is thought to be a former community police officer. Also tonight. Thinning the line, 20,000 soldiers and famous battalions to go in the biggest ever cut to the British Army. A murder investigation is launched into the events of Northern Ireland's Bloody Sunday. Thrusting into the skies and dividing public opinion, the Shard, Europe's tallest building, is opened. Good evening. Five men, three of them brothers and a woman married to one of the men, were arrested in London by armed police and security officers today. The three brothers lived close by the Olympic Stadium, where, in three weeks, the high-profile opening of the 2012 Games will be held. Security sources say they don't believe the Games were a target. But they do claim the arrests are significant and were made on the grounds of public safety. The suspects are aged between 18 and 30 and it's understood all are accused of involvement with possible Islamic extremist attacks on UK targets. Our UK editor Keir Simmons has our report. In the shadow of the Olympic Park, a police raid that would very likely have been heard from the Stratford Stadium itself. Police explosives used to remove the door of this apparently ordinary house at 4 a.m. I heard a big mighty bang, looked out the window and I could just see the police entering the actual building. They actually literally blew that door off, ripped it off. Then it was followed by a round of uh, shots from a smaller gun, so I knew there was some sort of activity going on outside. The men inside were not suspected of targeting the games, police say. But the opening ceremony now looms over every threat, every arrest. From a security perspective, for police, it's just really better not to take any chance and possibly to avoid further disruption in, just in the run-up to the Olympics or just not too close to the Olympics. Armed police moved in in the early hours of this morning. A 24-year-old man was tasered during his arrest in Stratford and an 18 and 26-year-old were also held at the same address. The three are believed to be brothers. Surprisingly, one of them is a former police community support officer. A 29-year-old man was arrested in the street in West London and a 21-year-old man and 30-year-old woman were held at separate residential addresses also in West London. It's reported those arrested include a married couple. Last month, the Director General of MI5 said terrorist plots continue and not to assume that they all relate to the Olympics. But these are anxious weeks. On the M6 this morning, a fake cigarette triggered a security alert that saw passengers evacuated onto the motorway. It turned out to be an entirely false alarm. OK, what more have you learned about those arrests? Well, it's now believed that one of those arrested is a man called Richard Dart, and he is uh, fairly well known because he is uh, the son of uh, teachers from Weymouth. He actually converted to Islam in 2009, and he has been outspoken in the past uh, against British involvement in the Iraq war, in Afghanistan, uh, and even uh, critical of the pomp and ceremony surrounding the royal wedding last year. So all of these uh, people now will be being questioned by the police over uh, the next few days. These days, the security services and the police do tend to intervene early if they can when they are monitoring uh, these um, alleged plots. But as I say, the prospect of the games coming would have been particularly important to them because they wouldn't have wanted to be having to do these arrests uh, just days before the Games or even during them. All right, Keir, thank you.